Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Let's take a trip in the Wayback Machine to a couple weeks ago. Everything started out nice and simple. I had a very easy plan in my head. So here, I'm gonna use an old tank. I've cleaned it out with uh, water and white vinegar. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's a 10 gallon tank. Um, I read that you can put two or three hermit crabs in a 10 gallon tank. There's my trusty box of rocks. And there's the bag of sand. That, that's gonna be important later. That whole big bag of sand that I got. And there's their little water ditches. So, here they are. Three little hermit crabs, packed in a box with uh, moist paper towels. There they go. These were pretty lively at the store. So I figured, let me get three of them. It says it's, uh, they're social animals, so it's best to have them more than, more than one. So I figured, let me start out with three. Now, uh, Buster's helping me out on this. He's checking out what I got here. Um, I, don't, I don't think he thinks I'm doing this right. Yeah. What's the matter, Buster? Yeah, he's asking me, he's going, Dad, are you, are you sure you're doing this right? I, I don't think you're doing this right, Dad. I see you got rocks, Dad, but, but I, I, don't, I don't think you're doing this right. Here it is, all set up. I'm pretty proud of myself at this point. I'm just looking at it. I see them, I see them walking around having fun. They got their two water dishes. And then and then Buster asked me a question. He said, uh, did you read up on these hermit crabs before you got them, Dad? And I said, what? He said, well, you know they're supposed to have substrate that's at least three times their shell size so they can burrow. I said, I said, I said, what? He goes, yeah, Dad. They're supposed to have at least three times their, their size in sand so they can burrow down in it. I said, no, I, I didn't read that. And then he goes, did you just buy these because you thought they were cute and you, you didn't read far enough down? Yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly what I did. So, we got a problem here, and I got to fix it. I got to go get more sand. Before I go get the sand, I went online. I ordered some hermit crab food, and I also ordered some replacement shells to put in there. Now, I, while this is the, these are the shells right here that I'm going to put in. But while I was looking at that, I found something else that I find very disturbing. Uh, look at these. Little, little plastic sports shells for your hermit crab, and and look at these little little glow in the dark shells for your hermit crab. Can can you just imagine what all the other hermit crabs are gonna say to them with their stupid plastic shells on? They're gonna get made fun of. Just put them in a nice normal shell. You, they're cool enough as they are. I don't see why we need to do this to animals. Why we gotta make them look stupid. So just please, if, if you have plastic shells on your hermit crab, it looks like a football, just uh, like I always say, just just stop it. Here's a little aerial view. Just him climbing around before I take everything out of this tank and add more sand to it. See, I should have, yes, warning. Vinny has no idea what he's doing when it comes to hermit crab tanks. That should be the title of this video. It's too long. Here's the failure tank. It's all ready to have everything taken out of it. I have my little dishes there so I can put all the decorations in it. Try not to get sand all over the place. Here we have my giant 50 pound bag of play sand. I got that at the local hardware store. It's about $6 for a big bag like this. It should work great. Uh, from what I read, it should just be fine. 
I'm gonna start taking everything out. I'm gonna speed this process up because it, it's quite boring. If only I did it right the first time, but live and learn. Get everything out of here. Now I'm gonna cut open the sand. Try not to get sand everywhere. And yes, I'm gonna use a cup to do this. And I'm gonna do this process probably, probably 4,000 times. Let's see. Let's see. Four. 4,028 to be exact. But it's all filled up with the play sand now. It seems like I can make a sand castle out of it which should be a good consistency for them to burrow into. So now it's time to add everything back into the tank. What am I futzing around? What am I doing? Why would you leave it a moment like this? Hey, hey, the, ca the camera's rolling. What are you doing? Huh, oh, nice of you to rejoin us. So, yeah, I'm gonna be adding back the decorations, the little plants for them to climb on. Plastic plants, I don't I don't think live plants will ever work in this. But they should be able to climb up and down on these. I'm gonna add some rocks. Just give them something else a little different to climb on. I know my moon crabs like to push the rocks all around. I don't know if the hermit crabs are strong enough, we'll see. But I'm gonna put some rocks in there anyway. These are the back parking lot rocks from the other video. I, I kind of use them in a lot of tanks because, you know, they're in the back parking lot. Putting in a little cave right now. They seem to like to go under there. That's where they burrow. Had their little water dish. They need two water dishes, one for fresh water, one for salt water, just like the moon crabs do. Now on top of the top of these rocks, I'm gonna add some pieces of moss. Hopefully, hopefully that'll help keep the humidity in there. So I have a solid top going on top. I have a uh, I have the double-sided basking lamp to give them some heat, to give them the, the night light. So I'm gonna put that on top. Hopefully the moss will do well in here on top of the rocks. We'll see if they move it around or not. Add the final plant. So they can climb on that. Here's their fresh water. And a different bottle. I make my own salt water. For my salt water tank, so I always have salt water on hand. And the moon crabs also need salt water, so I just add salt water. I'm gonna spray everything down, make sure everything's nice and moist. Hit the moss. Now we're gonna add our hermit crabs. There's one. Number two. And number three. Let's see how they do. And now that I look at it, I'm not even sure if it's deep enough yet. It should be a good start, but we'll see what happens. These guys look like they got time to grow into these shells, hopefully. But I, I should have even made it a little bit deeper now that I look at it. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. But it's definitely better than I had it before. See, they're going to check everything out. I'm wondering why they have a washing machine behind them. That's my work table. Here's my fix to my epic failure. 
I, I don't know what I was thinking the first time. I can't believe I didn't read down a little bit more before I got these. But that's, that's a lesson learned for everybody. Always do a little research before you get an animal. But I'm very happy with how this tank came out now. They're out and about. You can see them just running all around. Uh, one of them started burrowing already. I want to see how deep he goes. I hope you had a good time watching me redeem myself here for the epic failure I had at the beginning of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to see you next time. I'm Vinny's Aquatics.